Hello and Assalamu alaikum. In this short tutorial, I am going to discuss about descriptive statistics. There are two main types of statistics, descriptive and inferential. But in this particular video, you will be learning what is descriptive statistics, importance of descriptive statistics and its application in SPSS. So let's start defining what is descriptive statistics. It is a type of, dis of statistics that deal with the understanding and explanation of the data. It is used to describe the basic features of the data. It simply describes what is or what the data is showing. So there are several methods through which you can understand the current trend and pattern of the raw data by just calculating average, by graphical illustration, frequency distribution, dispersions, skewness, kurtosis, etc. When you have large amount of data, by applying descriptive statistics, you can simply describe the data in a sensible manner. Let's see, for example, the compilation of betting average is one of the example of descriptive statistics. But with the help of betting average, we cannot predict or forecast the performance of batsmen in a current match. So with the help of this example, we can understand that descriptive statistics do not deal with prediction or forecasting. It is just about understanding the current trend and the pattern of the data. It is not about prediction or drawing some conclusion from it. As you can see this example here, at the left side you can see the raw data. So with the help by just looking at the spreadsheet, I am unable to understand how many males are there, what are the uh, favorite color of people, how many say, how many people uh, like white color, silver or black color, right? I am unable to understand by just looking this spreadsheet. But after applying descriptive statistics, as you can see at the right side of the uh, screen, there is there are two different graphical illustrations. At the top, you can see by just looking at this graph, we are we can understand that males are uh, in our respondent. There are more male than female, and in, by with the help of with the help of pie chart, I can understand how many people like white color, black color, silver, and so on. So here, with this information, I cannot predict or forecast, and I cannot draw some conclusion. But here I have just described the pattern and the trend of the data. It is very important because the quantitative type of data, descriptive statistics describe the quantitative type of data in a very manageable form. It enables one to present the data in a more meaningful way which allows simpler interpretation of the data. So with the help of descriptive statistics you can understand the pattern of your sample so let's see how a descriptive statistics can be performed in SPSS so I'm going to use this file to perform descriptive statistics so here I have four different variable gender education job category minority so with the help of frequency distribution, which is one of the method of descriptive analysis, descriptive statistics, I am going to describe the pattern of my data. So let's see how can we perform descriptive statistics in SPSS. You have to go to analyze, descriptives and frequencies. So what you have to do to select all the variables and move them into the another box and press OK. So now you can see the output, the output is generated. So there are different tables. The first table is about statistics, which is just telling me the information about my sample size. Here I have 474 uh, total sample and there are no missing values. Now in the next section, you can see there are different tables for each variable. So gender, education, employment category and minority classification. So by seeing the gender table, 
I can easily understand that I have 54% female, 54% male and 45% female in my sample. Whereas 46% were graduate and only 50 and 53% were not graduate in the data. There are 363 clerical uh, employment category, 27 were custodial, 84 were managers, and 370 were, minor were majority, and only 104 were minority. Right? So these are the results of descriptive statistics. Now we can see how to interpret the output. Let's see this, uh, this specimen. As you can see the table, here there are three different demographic items. There are three different respondent details, gender, marital status, and age. And at the bottom, you can see some description. So here you have to simply define what is just illustrating in the table. Suppose in this table, 73% of the respondents were male and 27 of the percent res respondent were female. The majority of the respondents were married, that is 63%, whereas 37 participated in our study as single. So you just have to interpret the output like this, in this manner. Thank you.